many people who live to be 100 years old are still driving a car, but Mazarine Wingate is. His eyesight is still sharp, and not only that, he holds down a part-time job as a janitor in a post office in the eastern U.S. state of Maryland. He started working there when he was 60, and you can still find him keeping the post office spotlessly clean six days a week. Wingate says he has no major health issues. Rob Parcell, the photographer who shot this interview, asked him for advice. What kind of advice would you give me to, to live as long as you and be as happy as you are? Oh, what advice? Advice. Uh, just a little advice. <laughs> keep moving. Keep moving? Keep moving. <laughs> That's it? Just keep moving. Keep moving. While it is unusual for centenarians to hold down a job, it is increasingly common to see people reaching their 100th birthday. Dr. Neil Buckholtz at the National Institute on Aging says long life is a concern for governments the world over. The population, not only in, in the United States, but worldwide, of older people is increasing. And actually, the fastest growing group of people in the United States are those people over 85. A new study shows a direct relationship between fast walking and longer life. Are you ready? Ready. Begin. For this study, researchers looked at walking speed and other health factors for almost 35,000 older adults. They followed participants for up to 20 years. Dr. Stephanie Studensky at the University of Pittsburgh led the analysis. In every population, no matter how old they were, uh, what sex they were, what kind of health conditions they had, that there was a strong relationship between walking speed and survival. Your walking speed is a very simple reflection of how well many of your body systems are doing. By timing walking speed and using the longevity charts, doctors can provide better care for their patients. For example, most doctors don't screen for prostate cancer for patients older than 70. But if a man is otherwise healthy and energetic and expected to live at least 10 more years, he might benefit from the screening. For those who are less healthy, doctors could look for ways to improve their health and quality of life. But Dr. Studensky says the charts, while good, are not always indicators of longevity. Some people in good health just prefer to walk slowly. Carol Pearson, VOA News.